This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Trading with what is a broken linked chart. So as we copy and paste our charts from Excel to PowerPoint, what creates a broken linked chart? And more importantly, how do you fix them when you get stuck with them, which you eventually will? So what is a broken link chart? A broken link chart is a chart that we create in Microsoft Excel that we then paste into PowerPoint, which automatically creates that linked chart. So this chart in PowerPoint is actually linked to the underlying Excel spreadsheet. And if you need more help with linked charts, check out my other video here on YouTube. So a broken link chart is simply when we break the link between the PowerPoint chart and the Excel spreadsheet, which looks like this. So here in PowerPoint, I have a chart that my colleague sent me that I'm supposed to update. I right click that chart and I select edit data and I immediately get this broken link chart warning. So whether they did this on purpose or by accident, either way, I now have to deal with this broken link chart. This brings up a great question. As we move from Excel to PowerPoint, what breaks a linked chart? And the two most common ways to break a linked chart is either to rename the underlying Excel spreadsheet that it's linked to. So for example, calling it version two or moving that Excel spreadsheet somewhere else on your computer. So that is what's going to break the linked chart. So this chart is no longer referring to the external Excel spreadsheets data source. And where this might catch you by surprise is when you're sharing your files with your team. For example, if John creates a linked chart, so we copy and paste a chart from Excel to PowerPoint so that PowerPoint refers back to that Excel spreadsheet, every person he now emails those sets of documents to will automatically create a broken link chart simply because this Excel spreadsheet is going to exist in a different location on each of your colleagues' computers. So this kind of creates a broken link chart chain where each person needs to know how to fix the broken link chart on their computer. So let's walk through how to fix a broken link chart so that if someone breaks the link between your PowerPoint and your Excel files, you know how to fix it. So let's create a broken link chart here in PowerPoint using this Excel spreadsheet that's on my desktop. To create a broken link chart, first we need to link a chart. I'll control C to copy my chart and just control V to paste it here into PowerPoint. That automatically paste this bar chart with right aligned categories into PowerPoint, which if you need help doing this, check out my other video on YouTube. Now you'll know this is a linked chart a couple of different ways. First off, if I come in here and just delete the data out of Excel, you're gonna see that that chart automatically updates in PowerPoint. So this is what people are going for. I'll hit Control Z and undo when they link their charts. Another way to know you have a linked chart is simply if I just close out of Microsoft Excel. So there's that external Excel spreadsheet. If I right click and select edit data, you're gonna see that linked chart or a linked Excel spreadsheet. So that's a linked chart. This data does not exist in Microsoft PowerPoint. This exists in that external Excel spreadsheet. So now let's break the link. To break the link, we can either move this Excel file to a new location on our computer, or we can simply call it version two, which is very common. If I now come back into PowerPoint, I'm supposed to update this chart. I select edit data. I get this linked file isn't available. So we're gonna need to link these files back together. Back here in the normal PowerPoint work view, this is still a broken link chart. I'm not trying to trick you. To relink the chart, you're simply gonna come to the file tab. You're gonna come to the info tab here on the left. You're gonna need to scroll down and find edit links to files. In this case, I have two broken link charts. The one we just renamed is the second one, the broken link chart we named version two. I'm simply gonna change source. I'm then just gonna navigate to wherever that file is on my computer or wherever the renamed file is, if it's in the same location, you simply select it. I'll click open, I'll click update now. I'll click close. I'll come back into PowerPoint. If I now come and right click this chart and select edit data, all right, that Excel spreadsheet is gonna open again, telling me this is linked data. So I've now relinked that broken link chart. And if you send this file and the Excel spreadsheet to a colleague, they'll have to do the same thing on their computer if you want them to edit the data. Now, if you wanna learn about embedding charts into PowerPoint and some of the dangers of doing so, make sure you subscribe here on YouTube to catch my next video, which will also keep you up to date with my latest PowerPoint hacks, tips, and tricks, which I like to call PowerPoint hack trickery. A few key takeaways from this video are a broken link chart is an Excel chart that was linked in PowerPoint with that link now broken. Renaming or moving the Excel file is what breaks that link with PowerPoint. And if that does happen to you, you simply need to relink your charts from PowerPoint back to Microsoft Excel and you'll be good to go. If you've learned something new about Microsoft PowerPoint from this video, please let me know with a quick thumbs up here on YouTube so I know what kind of content to continue to create from you. If you're just looking for some PowerPoint resources to help get you to happy hour like PDF cheat sheets, blog posts, and video courses, make sure you check out the links directly beneath this video. This is Taylor from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'll see you at happy hour.